Welcome, YouTubers, to another episode in my Grammar Hero series. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how to solve age word problems, which may or may not show up in the arithmetic reasoning subtest of the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, that is the ASVAB, as well as the PiCAT. More specifically, I'm going to be working out eight questions in total. In the first part of this video, I'm going to work out four examples of age problems. And then in the second part of this video, there are going to be practice problems that I strongly encourage you to work on by yourself. As I say in all my videos, in order to get the most out of this video, you'll want to pause the video after I read a practice question, attempt to work out the practice question on your own, and then resume playing the video to check your solution. Uh, as a reminder, you're not permitted to use a reference sheet or a calculator on the actual ASVAB. So in light of that, it's in your best interest not to use any of those resources as you work your way through these practice questions. So all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Before we get started with this first example, I want to mention a few additional things. Notably, I want to mention that I'm going to take the same approach to solving each and every one of these problems. Uh, as you'll see in just a few minutes, I'm going to use a chart that's very similar to this one here to keep my work organized. So as you can see, this is a two by two chart. Uh, in this first column here, I'm going to have person one and person two. And in this top row here, I'm going to have their age now, as well as how their age changes according to the word problem. In addition to using uh, this chart here, I'm also going to be following these five steps more or less for each of these problems. And I'm not going to read through these verbatim. Uh, they're here if you want to pause the video and read through them. But I'm going to give you uh, the quick and easy version of these five steps. Because again, in a few minutes, we're going to go through four examples. So the first step basically says you're going to fill in your now column, which is right here. And you have to realize that the person you know nothing about is going to be X. All right. As soon as you fill in your now column, you'll have enough information to immediately fill in your change column. And you're either going to add or subtract an amount from your age now column. All right. Once you fill in your age now, as well as your change column, you're going to try to write an equation to mirror what's being asked in the word problem. And let's say the word problem said person one is twice as old as person two. Well, our equation would look like this. Person one is twice as old as person two. All right, so we just wrote our equation. After that, we're going to go back to our change column, and we're going to take the values from our change column and plug them in in place of P1 and P2, respectively. So I'm going to take the values that I wrote in here, and I'm going to plug them in here, then I'm going to take these values and plug them in here. All right. And once I do that, then I'm just going to solve the equation that I just wrote for X. So again, fill in age now. Immediately after that, fill in your change column. After that, write an equation to mirror what's being asked in the word problem. Plug in the values from your change column into the equation you just wrote. And then solve for X. That's all there is to it. All right, so with those steps in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at our first example. All right, so let's take a look at our first example now. It says Adam is 20 years younger than Brian. In two years, Brian will be twice as old as Adam. How old are they now? All right, so first things first, we want to set up our two by two chart. And ours does not have to be as fancy as the one from above. And as you may recall, in this first column here, we simply put in the names of the people in the, in the question. So in this question, we have Adam as well as Brian. And again, this is our now column. And so let's try to fill that in. It says Adam is 20 years younger than Brian. So we know nothing about Brian's age. So I'm going to let Brian's age be represented with the letter variable x since it's an unknown. That said, I could use this x to represent Adam's age as well. Again, Adam is 20 years younger than Brian. So if Brian is x, that means 
atom is. And in this problem, how far are we going in the future? We're going two years in the future. So this is going to be now plus two years. And now we can fill in this future column accordingly. This becomes x minus 20 plus 2. And this becomes x plus 2. All right. Uh, if you recall, the third step said to write an equation to describe uh, what's going on in the problem. And what is going on in this problem? It says Brian will be twice as old as Adam. So Brian, which I'm going to call B, will be twice as old as Adam, which I'm going to call A. So we just wrote our simple equation there. And now we're going to replace uh, B and A with values from our future column here. All right. Uh, what is B in our future column? It's x plus 2. And what was A? Well, A was x minus 20 plus 2. All right, let's simplify this a little bit further before we distribute this 2. Again, this becomes x plus 2 equals 2. What is negative 20 plus 2? That's negative 18. All right. So now we're going to take this 2 and distribute it here as well as here. So this becomes x plus 2 equals 2 times x is 2x. And what is 2 times negative 18? It's going to be negative since we have a positive times a negative. But I'm going to work that off to the side. That's 18 times 2. Uh, 8 times 2 is 16. Carry a 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So this is 2x minus 36. All right, again, we're solving for x, so ultimately we want to get x equal to something by itself. So let's go ahead and subtract x from both sides. This will cross out here, leaving you with 2 equals, uh, what is 2x minus x? That's just x minus 36. And now let's add 36 to both sides. This crosses out here, leaving you with just x on this side. Um, 2 plus 36 is 38. So x, as you can see, is 38. And this question asked, how old are they now? Well, to answer that, we're going to go back to our now column. Because look, Adam's age now. Adam's age now is x minus 20. We got that right from our chart. And Brian's age now is just x. Well, we know what x is. x is 38. So Brian is 38. And again, Adam is x minus 20. So that's going to be 38 minus 20. And what is 38 minus 20? That's going to be 18. So Adam is 18 and Brian is 38. And that's all there is to solving uh, this first example. Again, I follow the steps from above. Fill in your now column, fill in your change column, write an equation, plug in the values from your uh, change column in for your in your equation, and then solve for x, and you're pretty much done. So uh, that's that one. All right, so let's take a look at example two now. Uh, example two says Carmen is 12 years older than David. Five years ago, the sum of their ages was 28. How old are they now? So again, the approach is the same for each of these. We're going to start by making a two by two chart here. And as you may recall, in this first column here, we simply plug in the names of the people. So in this problem, we're dealing with Carmen as well as David. And again, this is our now column. So let's go ahead and work on filling that in now. Um, it says right here, Carmen is 12 years older than David. So we don't know how old David is. And in mathematics, you can represent unknown values with letter variables. So I'm going to call David's unknown age x. That said, I can use his age to figure out how old Carmen is. Again, Carmen is 12 years older than David. So if David is x, that means Carmen is x plus 12. All right, so uh, this is our change column. And by how much are we changing in this problem? Well, right here it says 
five years ago. So that's five years from now. So we're going to be subtracting five. So let's go ahead and fill in this change column. This becomes x plus 12 minus five. And this simply becomes x minus five. All right, so it said five years ago, the sum of their ages was 28. The sum of their ages was 28. How are we going to write an equation to represent that? Well, Carmen plus David equals 28. Again, that says Carmen's age plus David's age, that is the sum of their ages, is equal to 28. And we're going to use the values from our change column to fill in C and D respectively. Well, what was C? C was x plus 12 minus 5. I got that from right here. And what was D? That was plus x minus 5 equals 28. All right, so now that we've wrote our equation and filled in our values accordingly, we're simply going to solve for x. And in this case, it's going to be very easy to do. We have x and x, which are like terms, so that's going to become, that's going to become 2x. All right, and then we have 12 minus 5 minus 5. That's the same thing as 12 minus 10, which is just 2. So this is 2x plus 2 equals 28. Again, we're solving for x, so let's go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides now. This becomes 2x equals 28 minus 2 is 26. And let's divide both sides by 2 now. This crosses out, leaving you with x equals What's 26 divided by 2? It's going to be 13. All right. So we know x is equal to 13. Now that doesn't answer the question, how old are they now? To answer that question, we have to look at our now column. Again, Carmen's age is x plus 12. We know what x is now. It's 13. So Carmen's age is 13 plus 12. Uh, 13 plus 12 is going to be 25. David's age is just x according to our now column, and x is 13. So how old are they now? Well, Carmen is 25 years old, which means David is 13 years old. All right, so that's all there is to that. Pretty simple and straightforward once you get the hang of it. All right, so uh, example three says the sum of the ages of Nicole and Kristen is 32. In two years, Nicole will be three times as old as Kristen. How old are they now? All right, so this problem, in all honesty, is slightly more tricky than the first two. Uh, but that said, we're going to take the same approach to solving it. That is to say, we're going to start by setting up a two by two column here, our two by two chart here. And in this first column, uh, we're simply going to list the names of the people from the word problem. So we have Nicole as well as Kristen. Again, this is our age now column. And this one's a little bit more difficult to fill in because in the first two problems, we were told that one person was older than the other person. In this problem, we're told that the sum of their ages is 32. So what I'm going to do here is say, Nicole is X years old, which means Kristen must be 32 minus X years old. Again, the sum of their ages is 32. So this is how we have to set this one up. All right. As far as filling in our change column goes, it's actually very, very easy to do. Again, by how much are we changing in this problem? And that's right here in two years. So we're going to be going two years into the future. So that's going to be plus two. And now we can fill in this change column pretty easily. This becomes x plus two. And this becomes 32 minus uh, x plus two. All right. So we filled in our now column as well as our change column. So let's go ahead and work on writing our equation. And that's actually pretty easy to do says Nicole will be three times as old as Kristen. So Nicole will be three times as old as Kristen. Again, N stands for Nicole, K stands for Kristen. So we wrote our simple equation there. Now we're going to fill in those values from our uh, change part of this chart accordingly. Again, Nicole is X plus 2. And Kristen was 
32 minus x plus 2. Again, I got that right from this column. All right, now we're just solving for x. Uh, that said, I want to simplify this. Uh, we have 32 plus 2. So this becomes 3 times 34 minus x equals x plus 2. All right, let's take this 3 and distribute it here as well as here. Uh, 3 times 34, if you can't do that in your head, you can always work it off to the side. Uh, 4 times 3 is 12. Carry a 1. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. So this becomes 102. And 3 times uh, negative x is going to be negative 3x. And of course, this is just x plus 2. All right, so I'm going to add 3x to both sides to get all my x's on one side of the equation. This crosses out here. And x plus 3x is going to be 4x plus 2 equals 102. All right, now let's uh, subtract 2 from both sides. This crosses out. And let me move down a little bit. This becomes 4x equals 102 minus 2 is 100. Let's divide both sides by 4 now. This crosses out, leaving you with x. What is 100 divided by 4? You should know that that is 25. Again, 25, 50, 75, 100. All right. And uh, this question doesn't ask us to solve for x per se. It asks us to figure out how old they are now. So we're going back to our now column. And... Uh, Nicole's age, as you can see from the chart, is just x. And we know x is 25, so Nicole is 25. What about Kristen? Well, Kristen, according to the now column, her age is 32 minus 25. And if you can't do that in your head, you can always work it off to the side. 32 minus 25. 2 minus 5, we can't do. We have to borrow. This becomes 2. This becomes 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. 2 minus 2 is nothing. So Kristen is 7. All right, so to answer this question, uh, Nicole is 25 now, and Kristen is 7 now. All right, so that's that one. Again, the hardest part of this problem was setting up your now column correctly, insofar as we were told that we had the sum of ages, not one person's older than the other. All right, so that's that one. All right, so uh, this fourth example is going to be different than the first three examples. And before we take a look at it, I just want to mention this. So a slight variation on age problems is to ask not how old people are, but rather to ask how long until we have some relationship about their ages. In this case, we're going to alter our table slightly. That is to say, in our change column, because we don't know the time to add or subtract, we'll use the variable t and add or subtract this from the now column. So again, we're going to do everything the same, but in our change column, we're going to use t instead of uh, either adding or subtracting uh, values that we knew. Example 4 says Lois is 26 years old. Her daughter is 4 years old. In how many years will Lois be double her daughter's age. All right, so again, the setup's the same. We're going to make our chart here. And as a matter of fact, this chart's actually much easier to set up. Again, we're going to fill in uh, the names of the people that we know. So we know Lois and her daughter are the two people we're talking about. What are their ages now? Well, this is given. Lois is 26 and her daughter is 4. All right, so as I just said, uh, the question's asking, in how many years will Lois be double her daughter's age? So we don't know uh, how long that's going to take. So we're just going to simply label our change column uh, the T column. So this is going to be 26 plus T, and this will be 4 plus T. And when we solve for T, that's going to answer the question, in how many years will Lois be double her daughter's age, all right? So now that we filled in our chart, uh, let's go ahead and write an equation 
to uh, represent this. How many years will Lois be double her daughter's age? So we want to know when Lois will be double her daughter's age. All right. Again, let's fill in uh, values in place of L from our change column here, as well as D. So what was uh, L in our change column? It was 26 plus T equals 2. What's the value for D in our change column? It's 4 plus T. All right, so uh, let's keep solving this one. Again, we got to take this 2 and distribute it here as well as here. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times T is 2T. Uh, and then this is just 26 plus T. All right, let's go ahead and solve for T now. Um, I'm going to subtract T from both sides like this. This becomes 26 equals 8. Uh, 2T minus T is just T. And then let's subtract 8 from both sides now. This crosses out, leaving you with just T on this side. 26 minus 8 is going to be 18. So to answer this question, in 18 years, Lois will be twice as old as her daughter. And again, that T refers to this how many years. All right, so again, that's a variation of an age problem. And in short, that's all four variations of these types of problems. So again, set up a chart, fill in your now column, fill in your change column, write an equation, use the values from your change column to fill in your equation, and then solve for the uh, letter variable. And it's going to either be X or T. So that's all there is to it. All right. So at this point in the video, I want to encourage you to start pausing the video attempting to work out the question on your own from start to finish, and then resume playing the video to check your solution. Again, in order to get the most out of this video, you have to do that. All right, so that said, let's go ahead and get started with this first question. It says a father is four times as old as his son. In 20 years, the father will be twice as old as his son. Find the present age of each. All right, so not surprisingly, we are going to uh, start this problem by making a two by two chart here. And in the first column, we're simply gonna fill in the names of the people from the word problem. In this case, we're dealing with a father and son. And this is our age now column. And this one's actually uh, pretty easy to do says the father is four times as old as his son. So we don't know how old the son is. So we'll call his son X years old. But we know the father is four times as old as his son. So that's going to be four X. Then it says in 20 years, the father will be twice as old as his son. So again, in our change column, we're going to put in plus 20 to uh, represent this 20 years in the future. So this becomes 4x plus 20, and this becomes x plus 20. All right, so we filled in our now column. We filled in our change column. Now let's go ahead and uh, write our equation. It says the father will be twice as old as his son. So the father, which I'm going to call f, will be twice as old as his son, which I'm going to call s. So that's our equation. And again, we're going to take our values from our change column and plug them in accordingly. So F is 4X plus 20 equals 2. S is X plus 20. All right. So now we're just going to be solving for X. First things first, we have to take this 2 and distribute it here as well as here. So this becomes 4X plus 20. 20 equals 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 20 is 40. All right, so let's work on solving for x. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. This crosses out here, leaving you with just 40 on this side. Uh, 4x minus 2x is 2x plus 20, and now let's subtract 
20 from both sides. This crosses out here, leaving you with 2x on this side. 40 minus 20 is 20. Divide both sides by 2. This crosses out, leaving you with x equals 10. All right, so again, we want to find out the present age of each of these people. That is, we want to find out what their age is right now, and that's right here. Again, the father's age, so I'm just going to call F. His age is 4x. We now know what x is, so that's going to be 4 times 10. Uh, 4 times 10, of course, is 40. So right now, the father is 40 years old, and the son is simply x years old. We now know x is 10. All right, so uh, again, the father is 40. And the sun is 10. And that is the answer to this one. All right. So as we can see, number two says Fred is four years older than Barney. Uh, five years ago, the sum of their ages was 48. How old are they now? And again, as a hint, this is very similar to what we saw in example two. Uh, that said, we always follow the same procedure when we solve these types of problems. We start by making our two by two chart. And we fill in this first column uh, with the names from the word problem. In this case, we're dealing with Fred as well as Barney. And again, uh, this column is their age now. So let's work on filling that in. What says right here, Fred is four years older than Barney. That means we don't know anything about Barney's age. So we're going to call Barney's age X. And... Uh, given this relationship, we know Fred must be X plus four years old. All right. Now, again, this is our change column, and we can fill it in right now. Again, it says five years ago. That is five years in the past. So we're going to be subtracting five from our now column. This is going to be X plus four minus five. And this is going to be X minus five. All right. So we filled in our now column as well as our change column. Let's work on writing an equation now. It says five years ago, the sum of their ages was 48. So Fred's age plus Barney's age was 48. And now we're going to use the values from our change column to fill in F and B respectively. Uh, what was F in our, or what was Fred's age in our change column? It was X plus 4 minus 5. Five. And what was Barney's age according to our change column? It was x minus 5. All right. So let's go ahead and solve for x now. Again, we have x and x, which is going to be 2x. We can cross those out now. And then we have 4 minus 5, which is negative 1, minus 5, which is going to be negative 6 equals 48. All right. Again, we're solving for x, so we want to get x by itself. Let's add 6 to both sides. This crosses out, leaving you with x equals 48 plus 6. Well, plus 2 would be 50, plus 4 would be 54, so that's going to be 54. Divide both sides by 2. This crosses out, leaving you with x here. And if you can't do that in your head, you can always do the long division off to the side. We have 54 divided by 2. 2 goes into 5. 2 times without going over, given that 2 times 2 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Drop down this 4. 2 goes into 14 7 times without going over. 2 times 7 is 14, so there's no remainder. So x in this case is 27. Now this x equal 27 does not answer our question per se. question says, how old are they now? So we're referring back to the now column. Again, Fred's age now is x plus 4. We now know x is 27, so that's 27 plus 4, which is 31. And Barney's age is simply x, and we know x is 27. So to answer this question, uh, Fred is 31 years old now, and likewise, Barney is 27 years old now. All right, so that's that one. All right, so uh, number three says the sum of the ages of John and Mary is 32. Four years ago, John was twice as old as Mary. Find the present age of each. All right, so in case you need a hint, uh, we're going to be 
setting this one up the same way we did uh, in example three. And that said, we're always going to start by making a two by two chart. And in this first column here, we're going to put the names of the people from the word problem. So in this case, we're dealing with John as well as Mary. Again, this is their age now. And again, this is one of the questions where we're told that the sum of their ages is something. So it's not clear as to how we're going to set this one up immediately. So I'm going to say John is X years old, which means Mary is going to be 32 minus X years old. Again, if you add X and 32 minus X, the sum will be 32, which is what we have right here. All right. Again, this is our change column and it says four years ago. So we're going four years in the past. So that's going to be minus four. And we're going to apply that change to our now column. This becomes X minus four. This becomes 32 minus X minus four. All right. So we filled in our now column. We filled in our change column. Let's go ahead and write an equation now. It says John was twice as old as Mary. So John was twice as old as Mary. And we're going to use the value from the values from our change column to fill that in. Again, John from our change column is X minus four equals two. Mary from our change column is going to be 32 minus X minus four. All right, now we're just going to be solving for X. Uh, before we take this two and distribute it, I just want to deal with this 32 minus four right now. So this becomes X minus four equals two. 32 minus four is going to be 28. So this is 28 minus X. Now let's distribute our two accordingly. This becomes X minus four equals, what is two times 28? can't do that in your head. You can always work it off to the side. Uh, eight times two is 16, carry a one. Two times two is four plus one is five. So this is 56 minus two times X, which is two X. All right, now we're gonna be solving for X. So let's add uh, two X to both sides. This crosses out here, leaving you with just 56 on this side. Uh, X and 2X is going to be 3X. So this is 3X minus 4 equals 56. Let's add 4 to both sides now. This crosses out, leaving you a 3X equals 56 plus 4 is 60. Divide both sides by 3. This crosses out, leaving you with X equals 60. Divided by 3 is going to be 20. All right, this X equal 20 uh, does not answer our question. Again, the question is find the present age of each. That is, we want to know how old they are now. So we're going to look back to our now column. Again, John, his age now is just X. And we know X is 20. So John is 20 now. And what about Mary? Well, according to the problem, Mary's age is 32 minus X. Again, we know X is... Uh, 20. So this becomes 32 minus 20. 32 minus 20 is 12. So John is 20 years old now and Mary is uh, 12 years old now. All right. So uh, number four says a man's age is 36 and his daughter is three years old. In how many years will the man be four times as old as his daughter? Hint, this is similar to example four. All right, so not surprisingly, we're going to start this one by making a little two by two chart here. And again, we're going to fill in this first column with uh, the names that we were given in the word problem. Again, we're dealing with a man and his daughter in this case. And again, this is their ages now. Well, this problem is very explicit about how old they are now. So the man is 36 and the daughter is three. Now, again, this is the fourth variation of uh, an age problem. And we know that because it says in how many years. So instead of writing plus or minus uh, actual value here, we're just going to put T. 
All right, so this is going to become 36 plus t, and this is going to become 3 plus t. Again, we're trying to figure out in how many years, and that t refers to those how many years. All right, that said, we still got to write our equation. Uh, how many years will the man be four times as old as his daughter? So we want to know when the man, which I'm going to call M, is four times as old as his daughter, which I'm going to call D. All right. Now we're going to fill in uh, these values from our change column accordingly. Uh, we can see that M is going to be 36 plus T and D is going to be 3 plus T. All right, let's solve for T now. We're going to take this 4 and distribute it here as well as here. So this becomes 36 plus T. Uh, 4 times 3 is 12, and 4 times T is 4T. All right, let's solve for T now. I'm going to subtract T from both sides like that. That crosses out there, leaving you with 36 equals 12 plus 4T minus T is going to be 3T. All right, let's subtract 12 from both sides now. This crosses out here, leaving you with 3T on this side. 36 minus 12 is 24. Let's divide both sides by 3 now. This crosses out, leaving you with T equals 24 divided by 3 is 8. So T in this case is 8. So in other words, in 8 years, uh, the age of the man will be four times as old as the age of the daughter. And that is that one. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And as always, you're more than welcome to leave feedback in the comment section below. Again, the key to solving uh, word problems involving age is to set up your chart, fill in your age now, fill in your change column, write an equation, plug in values into that equation, and solve for the variable that's given. It's as simple as that. And the more you practice, the better you'll get at doing it. Uh, if you want to help my channel out, please consider subscribing to it. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and cut you loose. Konnichiwa.